Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Destiny video. And in today's video, it's just going to be a really quick one, but I want to speak about something that has just gone up on Amazon. Credit for this goes to the guys over at Jewel Shockers. They actually put up a post, which I'll link in the description box down below. They noticed on Amazon UK a listing for the Destiny collection. Now, do bear in mind it's since been taken down. They do, of course, have a screenshot, which you can, of course, see here right now. Now, do bear in mind that absolutely nothing at this stage is known about this collection. It was a listing, but there are no details whatsoever. And of course, Activision and Bungie have not commented on this whatsoever. So for the time being, do take this with a huge grain of salt. However, that being said, if you do cast your mind back about a month ago, you'll remember that a European retailer put up a listing for the Yellow Wing alongside the Iron Yellow Horn. They pulled it down. People weren't sure whether it was real. And of course, as we now know, it is indeed real. So I would be willing to bet that we will see this in some way, shape or form. I mean, it's kind of inevitable when you consider that the Taken King came out last year. And of course, alongside that, they released the version that also came with Vanilla, Dot Below, and of course, House of Wolves. So it's kind of inevitable that when Rise of Iron was going to come out, they were also going to release some sort of mega pack that I would imagine includes Vanilla, Dot Below, House of Wolves, and Taken King. Now, obviously, again, that is speculation because, as mentioned, there are no details on the site as to what this includes, but that would seem to be the most logical assumption. Now, the question remains whether this will also come with some sort of pre-purchase for Rise of Iron because the release date for this is actually slated, according to Amazon, to be August the 18th, which also coincides with Gamescom. So it's kind of again within the realms of possibility that Bungie and Activision have some sort of announcement planned for Gamescom and then they're going to drop some sort of trailer, announce the collection, at which point you can then go and buy it. And as for the contents, again, as mentioned, I think it's going to be one of two things. I think if the idea of this collection is to market to legacy players that are being forced to move over from their legacy consoles, i.e. Xbox 360 and PS3, and have to migrate to PS4 and Xbox One, then of course at least it gives them a collection, like a one big lump sum package they can buy to then get back up to speed. However, as mentioned, if the idea is instead to get people buying the game before Rise of Iron so they can kind of get up to speed before the release, then there is, of course, again, the chance that it might come with some sort of Rise of Iron pre-purchase. Think of it like a season pass, but not a season pass. I, you buy the collection and then when Rise of Iron comes out, you already have it. However, that being said, the pricing for this collection on Amazon UK, again, based on the current listing, this could all fluctuate or this could all be completely not true. However, the pricing they had at that time was £49.99. That's great British pounds. So, of course, whatever your equivalent dollars pricing is. But £49.99 sounds like the sort of price point that they would market a kind of legacy collection, so Vanilla, Dot Below, House of Wolves, and Taken King. If they were to throw Rise of Iron in that, I would imagine that price would jump up a bit. So I'm going to assume, for the time being, that this is marketed more at the legacy players, people that are either going to have to upgrade to the newer consoles, or of course just people that are looking to get into Destiny just before Rise of Iron. However, again, if you do bear in mind, whenever Bungie sell these kind of collections, there is a chance that they do come with some sort of pre-order bonuses, so it might well be that coming with the Destiny Collection you get some sort of exclusive, I don't know, a sparrow, a shader, an emblem. But with that being said, I'd also imagine that they would extend that to Rise of Iron purchases because of course they wouldn't want to alienate veteran players. Of course, all of that is speculation, but for the time being, that is the information. So in summary, the Destiny Collection went up on Amazon, the listing was priced at £49.99, it's available for Xbox One and PS4, and the release date is currently slated as August the 18th, which again, coincides with Gamescom, but do bear in mind, all of that information is based on a listing that is not in any way, shape or form confirmed by Activision, nor is it confirmed by Bungie. So until we hear more, do take that with a pinch of salt, but for the time being, that is everything you need to know. So let me know your thoughts down below, but aside from that, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.